Hi, I'm Renee. I clean and organize and declutter my followers' homes for free. In this episode, I organize and declutter a kitchen, laundry room, master closet, and linen closet, along with four other closets. I spent three days helping this couple. There will be a part two when I start decluttering and organizing their basement. I started in the kitchen with the pantry. I removed all of the expired food. So here is the backstory. I was contacted to help organize and declutter a couple's home. They have been married for 45 years. Her brother had recently passed away and they ended up with a lot of his food items. I organized their food and supplies in the pantry after removing most of his food. My magnifying glasses are on so that I can see the expiration dates. In the description below, I'll include a link. It was evident that there was a lot of food storage inventory. The rack on the floor is food storage container inventory. My next steps was to clean out the shelves on the door rack. There was expired food here as well. I then cleaned the goo off the door. My thought process was to put light items in the door so the door would not be heavy and to shut easily. So I put the food storage items that are frequently used here. I will show the reveal after each section has been completed. Next, I started on the coffee cabinet. As I was removing items, the wife let me know what stayed and what would be donated.
I added racks so the cups could be double stacked. Isn't this pretty? The spice cupboard was next, and of course I forgot to take a before picture. The spices were on all three shelves and I threw away all expired spices. I chose not to alphabetize them this time. The plastic container cupboard is next. This was just below the coffee cupboard. I pulled everything out and asked her what she wanted to keep. I then made sure based on what she wanted to keep that there was matching lids. Isn't this so much better? Now for the island cabinets. There was doors on each side so you could see through. Side one, side two. Not sure what happened to my camera. but now she can see and get all of her baking items very easily. Now for the cupboard to the right of her sink with all of her dishes. By the way, if you would subscribe to my channel and watch to the end, you can help support the work I do. Thank you so much. Now for underneath the kitchen sink.
onto another cabinet to the left of the kitchen sink. Once again, she donated so many items she no longer used. These containers she went through and then the remaining items were stored in this cabinet. Moving on to the cabinets above the desk, this cabinet was used as a medicine cabinet and additional cup storage. I threw away all the expired medicine and then her husband chose which cups he wanted to keep. The red Valentine's dish set was donated, so I wrapped them up and boxed them up. I'm so glad I could help this family. A quick picture of what the desk looked like as I cleaned out the cupboard. Now to declutter and organize the desk drawers.
So here's more on the backstory. She had back surgery several years ago and still has problems reaching things high and bending low. Any seasonal items I put on the higher shelves so her husband was able to reach them for her and the items she no longer needed she donated. Once again she donated a lot of items that she no longer needed. This is the cabinet underneath the desk. She called this the barbecue drawer. What a difference. Here are the rest of the kitchen drawers before and after. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends, hit the notification bell for more videos like this, and don't forget to subscribe.
My next stop was the laundry room. I started by cleaning off the two racks. Some of the items belonged in the pantry and some were donation. I decided to move the racks and reverse their positions so it was easier to open the door and get to items. Because of her back surgery, it made it difficult for her to reach anything above the first shelf, above the washer and dryer. To make everything accessible for her, I figured out what was used the most and what wasn't. The rack on the laundry room door was not secured properly, so I did not utilize it to its fullest potential. I also wanted to put the dog food at waist level so she didn't have to bend down. Are you ready for the walk-in closet? I started with the shoes. She sat outside the closet and made decisions on all of her items. The round shoe rack was cleaned off and donated.
I found more shoes underneath the clothes. Then it was on to the purses. Once again, she donated so many items. The rack was then cleaned off and I sorted like items together. I then discovered the bath towels. I asked her where the linen closet was and she stated it was full. I couldn't wait to see it, but I had to finish the closets first. I then bought out all of her clothes and one by one she made decisions to keep or not to keep them. Once she made the decision, I put the items she wanted to keep back in the closet. I only straightened out her husband's clothes and made sure he had more room and that the floor was organized. The racks above the clothes were used for light items like hats and seasonal purses. Love the organized rack now. On to the closets. The coat closet was decluttered and items were donated.
The next three closets are upstairs. The scrapbooks were all moved to the bookshelf in the bedroom. This freed up the bookshelf inside the closet. Everything hanging was either tablecloths or napkins. She let me know what she wanted to keep. Look at all this free space on the bookshelf. This closet was in the other bedroom. It was a catch-all. Most of the items were donated. I finally get to see the linen closet. This closet is going to be so much fun. The majority of the items on the door had expired. They had not used this closet for a long time. I wasn't sure what would all be on the floor in the closet. I did not expect to see a rolling rack. If you, <clears throat> if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends, hit the notification bell for more videos like this, and don't forget to subscribe.
Some of the sheets were donated, and this freed up space for the towels that were in the master closet. Thank you so much for watching. After the three days was over, they were bragging to their friends how I had, quote, straightened out their life. They were so pleased with the work that I had done. They made a donation to my favorite charity, Integrated Play, which helps veterans and former pro players in their career transition. I'll leave a link in the description below. Altogether, there was about a dozen boxes, 12 bags of trash, and 25 bags of donation.